Few people outside and even within Australia have ever heard of Christmas Island. It's a dot in the Indian Ocean, very near Jakarta. But it's Australian soil and has been for more than 50 years. Everybody knows everybody else. People don't do things like lock their doors or engage in home security.、Um, there's very low crime. You know, people know and trust each other. As the island is a very small place, and there are very few people who live there. No more than 1,500 people. The way of life on Christmas Island has remained largely unchanged for many years. Phosphate mining is still the most important industry. The casino that attracted rich Indonesians close to Suharto collapsed ten years ago. Not long after the turn of the millennium, Christmas Island began to gain attention like never before. This remote outpost now houses one of the symbols of Australia's border security. The situation in Christmas Island is more civilized in that the water works, the toilets work, but it is a high security prison. It is more high security than any prison in Australia, which houses people convicted of a crime, and this is for people convicted of no crime. Pamela Kerr is a refugee advocate who was part of a group invited to tour the facility when it opened last year. She has been in the industry for a long time and has seen the conditions inside the previous detention centre, which was also offshore but on another country. Nauru was、um, a place of hastily erected、um, timber structures wrapped up with black plastic. People lived in these black plastic shelters on the equator. Um, in appalling conditions, they had flush toilets and no water to flush them. It, it was a shocking place. Conditions improved as the years wore on, and as people wound up spending four years on Nauru. The Christmas Island Detention Centre can hold 1,400 people, but since the start of the year, more than 50 boatloads of asylum seekers have arrived, and that has strained the facility's resources. Well, we now have more than a surge. This is just a continuous stream of boats arriving. We've certainly got、uh, heightened numbers coming at the moment, but this is an ongoing problem. The whole world is trying to deal with it. We've got millions of people displaced from Afghanistan, Iraq, and other、uh, countries where we've had、uh, war. And、uh, as I say, as a result of the trouble in Sri Lanka, we're now seeing、uh, an exodus from Sri Lanka. The government solution has been to expand the facility, but in the meantime, some of the detainees are being housed in tents. It's not a perfect world, so we've just got to deal with this as each practical step along the way. What this is about is a government's colossal policy failure. The answer is not to put in more bunk beds and put in tents. The answer is to stop the boats. The opposition and refugee advocates, like Pamela Kerr, say living in close proximity has caused tension to build up in the centre. Two weeks ago, riots broke out between Afghan and Sri Lankan asylum seekers. Five staff members and 43 asylum seekers were injured. Three detainees were flown two and a half thousand kilometres away for treatment in Perth. Never before have asylum seekers、um, had such a big fight within themselves.、Um, on other occasions, when there's been trouble in detention centres, it's mostly been directed at the guards and at the immigration department, and usually there are reasons behind it. Such as、um, limiting conditions, threatening people, those sorts of things. In this instance,、um, I'm hoping it was a one-off. Outside the centre, there's also tension beneath the serenity of the island. There are now as many asylum seekers as locals, and then there are the immigration officials, interpreters, and lawyers that the detention centre brings. Researchers like Simone Dennis have talked to some residents on Christmas Island. She says they are enraged because their home is now synonymous with detention. 
Christmas Island is a place where employment is starting to become an issue, um, particularly now where phosphate mining is uh, diminishing. So I think a lot of people on the island were very keen on the idea of establishing Christmas Island as an important tourist destination, um, particularly uh, in ecotourism. Then all of a sudden Christmas Island um, has, in the national consciousness, been understood as a prison island, and that's a very powerful sort of a way to think about a place. There may be more asylum seekers on their way. A month ago, a boatload of Sri Lankans were rescued from their sinking ship off Christmas Island by an Australian customs vessel, the Oceanic Viking, and taken to Indonesia. Their claims are being processed, and they could be transferred to the island by the end of the month.